Yes. The first topic we want to talk about is something... We're recording this on the Sunday. Yeah. So we have literally just watched Man United versus Liverpool. Yeah. So if you're watching this, there's a potential chance that this clip, this short clip that you're watching could be out before the actual main podcast is out. Yeah, so hopefully just, this will be out either Monday or latest Tuesday. This, yeah. We're going to say, what's good Wednesday? Yeah, what's That's good Wednesdays? It. We're going to try and upload every single Wednesday. Uh-huh. So if you want to check out Spotify, iTunes, or any of the other ones that no one listens to, <laughs> uh, that we will be out on Wednesdays and on YouTube. Yeah. And I think we could... Uh, right, okay. It's been a year since we did the podcast, by the way. People have been saying that. So we could say this is the... the, the you know, we've had a year to kind of like get our feet wet and now we're going full force. I, I believe we can do it. The times we have to worry about is when we the go fight. to LA. Yeah. Yep. When we have the, when we have stuff like the fight. Yeah. We might just do a, I think we do a shorter podcast yep. and we'll do stuff like Q and A's, blah, blah, blah. Non-relevant. It'll be, yeah. It'll be non-time relevant things. Yeah. So we get, we could film two before we go away. Um, I mean, I, I'm always a fan of shooting when we're away, but you're not a big fan of it. Are you? Oh, we have to do two. Well, yeah. Cause we're there for quite the a while. We, well, yeah. We only have to get one ahead. Yeah. Cause well, the day, yeah, but, no, we'll be fine. We'll but, sort it off. We'll what sort it what off. I find though is when we get back, we're always like, oh, we'll do one the day we get back and then we're all tired. So we don't yeah. do it. No, we won't do one the day we get back. We'll do one a couple of days later. Yeah, well, we'll figure it out. But don't we'll worry, guys. We're yeah. on it now. Like a car yeah. bonnet. <laughs> on it like a car bonnet. People used to sit at school all the time, right? Chug rug. <laughs> I just noticed I spoke really fast as well. Anyways, what we were talking about is Man United Liverpool. Yeah. So we have recorded this straight after the game. Literally an hour. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, not. if Liverpool didn't get, it was a one-all draw. Yeah. If Liverpool didn't get that last five-minute goal or whatever it was, mm-hmm. it was in like 83rd, fourth minute. If they didn't get that, I was going to come on this podcast and just shut everyone up. Yeah. I was going to be like, you're not going to do it. They're going to come back. They're going to get second in the league. I thought you <laughs> My gonna, prediction was going to be right. I thought you were going to say, if Liverpool didn't score in the 85th minute, Man United would have won. <laughs> and I was going to be thinking, yes, Simon. <laughs> That's how football works. <laughs> but no, so... We, we, I was here yesterday as well, and we were, we were actually going to film yesterday, but we didn't because we wanted to get the, wanted to talk about the game. Well, we always want to do a little update on the football, mm, yeah. and we couldn't really do it if Liverpool hadn't played United. By the time we had done that, it would have been a bit outdated. Yeah, and that was the biggest game this weekend anyway. You know, we weren't really going to talk about who, who, who played Spurs. Exactly. <laughs> Watford. <laughs> Watford was yeah. one all right. Yeah. So, yeah. So, you, yesterday, I said, I said either Liverpool will, like, destroy United or it'll be a close game. Yeah. And then you said that you have the opinion if United United match who they play. Yeah, so my thing with United is always, whoever they play, they will play to that standard. Not necessarily like, oh, Liverpool are playing really well right now, so Man United will play really well. But I think Man United will kind of, they will give them a challenge. Yeah. Like they did. Mm-hmm. And then they'll go play Newcastle. They'll give Newcastle a challenge, but Newcastle could win. Yeah. They'll play... City, they'll give them a challenge. Doesn't mean that I'm saying that they'll win, but it won't be like a... If Man United lose like 4-0, yeah. I'd be shocked. Yeah. They might lose to a terrible team. I wouldn't be shocked. Got, yeah, I got you. But 1-0. Well, I, I, I would disagree in the fact that I think in games like... So when I watched Forest and Arsenal play recently, it was a similar thing. In, in, I'm not saying they're, they're, they're on the same level of skill as United, Liverpool, but Forest were doing all right in the game until half time. Well, it was 1-0. One, one yeah. And then once... Uh, Arsenal started scoring two, three, four, which gave up. So that's why I think the reason I was going to say, well, the reason I said it was either going to be a thrashing or close is that is whether if they can score or not. Yeah. So yeah. like, say if Liverpool is one nil, United could always come back into the game. But once it goes to two nil, I feel like United at, like, at this point they're the type of team that will give up. Yeah. If, if, if they can't like, see, let's just try and keep it two nil, so they'll just defend. Yeah. 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 But whereas if they, if they've got an edge in the game like they had against Liverpool, you know, there's always a chance they're going to get a result and. 1-1 one, one is a good result for United, right? If they, they weren't winning. Yeah, they would have taken it before today. Yep, yep. But same time, Liverpool probably would have taken it before the start of the season. They would yeah. have done away at Old Trafford. Yeah, we'll take the draw. Yeah, yeah. because no matter what, what's happening in the season, that's always a tough game. It's, it's, it's like when Forest play Derby, like that result is kind of, yeah, it's in the league, but it's also a result in its own. Like, yeah. Obviously you want to win, but... So that game... I. I I mean, who do you think... You missed the first, like, 15 minutes. Yeah, I was uploading. But who do you think deserve to win? Because I think a draw is fair, personally. I do, yeah. I think United look like the just about the better team until 60, 70 minutes. Then mm. Liverpool look like they could have won it. 
Yeah, Liverpool started really slowly because they started showing like glimpses in the last 20 minutes that they could. I mean, I, we, we both thought that they were going to get the game in the last yeah, five minutes, yeah. mainly because of how many like jam, jammy games they've had this season where they were like not supposed many, to get points and won it. How many United have conceded as well. Yeah, so given those two things. Uh, but I think it was fair. I think United looked... United looked like they were really trying. Yeah. They, they played well, to be fair. They played really well uh, in context to how they usually play. But I think, yeah, I think it draws fair. You know what's weird is like how Fergie time is just, you know, Fergie time was always like, they always score in the last minute. Yeah. It's the opposite. Yeah. They now concede. they're conceding all the time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Fergie time, people would love Fergie time to be back. Yeah. And I, I, don't, I don't mean like additional minutes. I mean, just Fergie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the thing about that game, obviously, was United's goal the VAR decision. Yeah. Oh yeah. So let's, let's, let's talk about that. What do you think? It was, it was a foul, right? It's one of those things where it's like, I don't want to say it cause it won't, it doesn't make any sense. And okay. I know it doesn't make sense, okay. but I'm going to say anyway, cause screw it. Yeah. It is a foul, but at the same time, I, I wouldn't pull it back. No. Cause it wasn't like, it wasn't like a mad foul. Mm. Like you're not sit, sat there going like that was disgusting, blah, blah, blah. But like, if there was no VAR, you'd be like, Oh, there's probably a foul there. But because it, you've seen it a hundred times now, yeah, you're there like, okay, that probably was a foul. He did go down quite easily, but there was a foul committed. But it's so early in the play. Yeah, I think if, although with that being said though, I think if, I agree, but I think if they did, if they, if they disallowed the goal, I would also not have been surprised. Yeah, no, I'm exactly the same. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think it, uh, I, that's the thing, I'm on the fence either way. I, but I I'm think, not surprised it didn't get. Yeah, I, I just think, the counter attack was on, was on anyway. I don't think that foul, like if that foul didn't happen, I think United still probably would have scored that goal because it happened so, so f far back on the pitch. Yeah. Whereas I, you remember when Forrest played Leeds and we, we fouled you. No. We, yeah. We, we fouled a player of yours when we scored a goal. Yeah. That was like in the attacking third. Yeah. You took down a defender. Yeah. That, yeah. Sh that should have been called back. Yeah. Cause it, it, it literally, it, it was, you stopped one of our defenders. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> whereas like the United one, it was so far back in the pitch, but I could see it going either way. Yeah. I wouldn't be yeah, surprised. I'm not saying, I'm not saying it, it should have been a goal. I'm just not surprised it got given. Yeah. I wouldn't have been surprised the other way. Then Mane, obviously. The handball. The handball. Yeah. That was a handball. It, yeah. 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 Oh, sorry. Yeah. That was handball. And yeah. then there was doing it towards the end where it hit his shoulder. Someone's shoulder. Pere Pereira's. Yeah. Where, where it was like. Yeah. That hit his shoulder. Yeah, that was, wasn't a handball. Because this is handball, right? Uh, It's anything. No. He, what? Like, cause it, it, it definitely hit him on the shoulder. Yeah, the shoulder's and he, not. And, and he did push his arm out. Yeah, but the shoulder's not. Yeah. But then where does, this, like, where does it become an arm? What's this, what's this muscle, bicep? I have no idea. <laughs> I guess, yeah, it's, I guess it's like where you can put your... I, I mean, I can't fit my hand around my arm if that's what you're you asking. you know where, like, where you can put your hand on. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That's where it's probably starting. Mm. Whereas like, it hit him, proper shoulder. Yeah, that fully was. I think it's so hard with VAR because VAR should be, and goal like tonight, goal line technology should be for the goal line and like offside, you know, where you can clearly see, I, I don't know. I think it needs work. I, I do like it, but then I dislike it at the same time. And I don't, I don't know yeah, what, I, kind I can't of decide like, what aspects I like and what I don't like. Part of me is like, I kind of like the whole foul aspect only being up to the referee and linesman. Yeah. I like that being an actual judgment call rather than, or then being able to be able to review it like the world cup. Like in the World Cup, the referee goes to the TV and he decides, whereas in the Premier League, yeah. the people decide. Yeah. Well, not the people. Whoever Man the... United fans in the room. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They just watch it and go, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> my, my friend sent me a tweet saying that um, it's something like Fergie, Fergie is not, the camera's not showing Fergie this game because he's sucking off the VAR stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it was. That's the thing. I don't want to say it because obviously I'm, I'm sat here saying the Liverpool one was a handball, then the United one wasn't a handball. Yeah. And then, they were right not to give the foul. It makes it look like I'm just United fan. A United fan. I'm not. I'm saying if it was given a foul and they stopped, they cancelled, they took back the United goal. I wouldn't have been surprised, and I wouldn't have gone like I would have literally gone, yeah, fair call. Yeah, which I think that's that's where like it, there's an issue with VAR is because it's still judgment based. Yeah, if you can see it going either way, then there's still no right or wrong decision. I I, it's yeah. I, I don't know the answer. Yeah, so <laughs> not no one's asking me to give them the answer, <laughs> yeah. so it's okay that I don't know. That's the thing; it's just an opinion, and I know the comments are going to be like opinion based oh, as yeah. well. But yeah, you have to remember when you're typing a comment, it's an opinion. Yeah, if you're sitting there going like, "Oh, Simon, you're an idiot," it's like that's your opinion again. Yeah, that's why we stopped. Uh, that's why we stopped. That's why we didn't talk about football originally 
Yeah. But now we're kind of embracing it. Now we're like, it. screw it. <laughs> Comment let's, away. Let's get the engagement. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> so I think, yeah, I think United showed more promise. Mm. Like they are only two points off relegation though. It's crazy. But I think that that game showed if they want to, they could pull it back and, you know, get like yeah. top eight. Yeah, I think it'll give them confidence. And they've got Martial back as that as well now, which they missed before. So I think in general, they'll be, well, I think they'll be definitely happy. They'll feel today like they've been, like they've lost the game. Yeah. But I think tomorrow they'll be like, okay, good, good. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying my prediction of United <laughs> coming second. I'm actually thinking that's going to happen. But I do think United will come back to like, I think, I think top eight. Yeah. And that's not, that's not unreasonable to think. Nah, nah, it's 